Maybe you want to create an Excel sheet to collaborate with other people and work from wherever they are. Uh, in real time, you can use Microsoft Excel online to do this. And all you need is a Microsoft Outlook account. Once you have your Microsoft Outlook account, log into office.com and then start to use Excel online. However, there are instances where you also have Microsoft 365 accounts. You can easily use that as well. So in office.com logged in with my office 365 account, um, I'm just going to go here and maybe type Excel and Excel will pop up. Or I can also just look up here um, to check all the Microsoft, you know, apps that I can use. Um, so I'll select Excel. Excel will open and it will ask me if I want to use any template or I want to start from blank workbook. Yes, I want blank workbook. So um, here, I'm just going to create a simple Excel file. And in this particular file or a sheet, I would specify a couple of information that I want to populate. Um, previously, in one of the episodes I had recorded was about apartment water bill payments. And so I'm just going to design a table that would reflect the same and even more. So I'm going to start with, you know, editing the file name here. So I'm just going to call it that apartment water bill payments. And I'm done. Um, you can choose to leave it the way it was, but I just like to keep things clean sometimes. And I can also edit the sheet's name here. So here I will change it to say water bill payment. Okay, I'll click on okay. And then I'll begin to fill out the cells. So I'll start with full name. And I can expand this particular cell by just putting my mouse over here to expand it. I'll do that. Um, but I'll go to B and I'll also say that I need email of, you know, the one who is making the water bill payments. And the next one I would do is also to tell the person, hey, um, give me your mobile money number that you used in payments. So it could be your bank account number, mobile money number. And now you can see that my form is getting a bit distraction. So I'll just expand the cells. Okay. So they can occupy more, you know, space. So here I'll expand email and then I'll expand full name. Okay. So that it's easily readable. And here, um, the next one I will do is to ask amount that the, um, tenants paid or the user paid. The next one would be, um, also the, Payment reference use, so payment reference note or used, whatever you want, you can just put that out there. And I will expand this particular cell as well. So I'm just going to put my mouse um, to the head and then I will drag. Let me drag it a bit more because this looks like it needs more space. Okay. And then the last thing I would do, not the last thing, is also to ask which month did this user pay for? you know, the water bill or the utility bill. And then the date uh, payment was made. So date paid, um, I'll read it this way, date payments made or payments made dates. And then I would also um, drag this a bit so that it's readable. The last one I think would be as to whether um, this payment was approved or not, like if I actually received the payment. Okay, so with this, we've designed a simple Excel online um, sheet and we've been able to, you know, specify all the headings that we want, but we can convert this into an actual table and then we'll use um, it as our database. So let me show you what I mean. I can just click anywhere at all and then over here, right at the top. Here, you can see there's format as table. So I'm going to click on the format as table. And once I click on format as table, I can choose any of these um, table uh, themes that came up. I'll choose the first one. And you can see 
it automatically identify that uh, it looks like I have from um, Excel um, from the cell A1 to H1, you know, filled up. So are those my table heading? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say, right? I'm building a table um, that is from H1 to um, A1. Okay, I'll just click on OK, and it will convert this into a table for me. Look at it with filters that comes down, right? Now, it's also generated because I converted it, I converted it into a table, it also added another ribbon here called table design. So I'm just going to click on that particular one. And when I click there, I would see that it uh, gives me an option to customize this table so I can give this table a name. Remember, when giving a table a name, it, that the name doesn't have to contain space. So you can use underscore or hyphens um, over there. So in this case, um, it's a water bill payment, right? That we are making. So water bill payment. Um, remember, it was apartments water bill. So apartment. So I say apartment underscore. Remember, I said there is no spaces, else your table would have an error. Okay, it can't be saved. So I'm converting every space here to an underscore and then there's underscore okay so we have named our table very well and this is good we're making very good progress we can start by filling this say full name um, we'll type something here email we'll type something here and mobile money number the amount the user is paying the payment reference note um, the months the date payments made and approved um, but this can really be boring if we have to fill it this way. So we would prefer that maybe we turn this into a, a good interface that people can just fill, you know, the information for. So previously, we designed a Microsoft um, Forms that simply does that, okay? Um, in the next episode, I'm going to teach you how to automate when someone fill this um, so that um, approval is sent to an email and then we can simply um, reject or accept that, okay, yes, your payment made was received, and that would automatically store the information in this particular table. So see you in the next episode. Uh, in this episode, we simply reviewed, or we actually created a Microsoft Excel online, and then we created tables. We looked at how to rename our tables, rename our Excel online sheets and file and this was really cool because we were able to also customize the, um, the table name with the table design. Cool things.